So basically, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things I want to make sure you guys understand when we're doing long division is that you understand the different components of long division. First of all, this 14 is the divisor. That is going to be basically what we're dividing into our dividend, which is that number like we're dividing into. Okay. When we take a divisor and divide, and divide it into a dividend, we're going to end up with an answer, which is called a quotient. I think it's important that you guys make sure you understand the difference of these, because as I'm going through teaching, I am going to use this vocabulary often. We're going to talk about divisor, dividend, quotient. You just want to make sure you understand what exactly I'm talking about. So by using the long division um, algorithm, what we're basically going to do is take our number and first just look into it for using the first um, uh, place value in our dividend, which would be 5. Well, 14 does not divide into 5, so then I work into 14 dividing into 57. 14 does divide into 57. Let's say it goes in there four times. So then we write up how many times it divides in there, up there. Then I simply do 14 times, or sorry, 4 times 14, which would be 48. No, 56. Thank you. Correct. So it goes in there 56 times. And then I write that number below. Then I'm basically going to go ahead and subtract my two properties. Now here, um, I'm just basically subtracting these. So when I do 57 minus 56, that's going to leave me with a 1. 14 does not divide into 1. So I bring down the next place setting, which would be 8. 14 does divide into 8 one time. So I write a 1 up here. Then I multiply 1 times 14. And then I write down, down below here. Again, you subtract your last two rows. 18 divided by 4 is going to give me 4. 14 does not divide into 4, so I bring down the 3. 14 does divide into 3. Um, 3, wait, 14, 28, 3 times would be 42, right? Then 3 times 14 is going to be 42. And 14, um, 3 times 14 is 42. Subtract the rows, bring into 1. 14 does not bring into 1. I do not have any other place values. If you're doing like math for college readiness or whatever else, they learn to put a decimal point, put a 0, and then you can bring that down, right, if you're going to do further division. But we're not concerned about decimals and everything else. We're going to be concerned about this number, which we call the remainder. Okay. Yes. So the answer is going to be the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor. So there's a couple things I want you guys to understand about this. So the quotient is technically 413 with a remainder of 1. <clears throat> there's a couple things I might ask you guys to do. One would be, you know, what exactly is the answer? And when we write the answer, basically we're going to take the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. Quotient remainder, divisor. I might also ask you um, to rewrite this as a, as a product. So if you were to write this as a product, you would basically do 413 times 14 plus 1 equals 5783. Think about it this way, right? If I did 12 and I said into 4, right? That's 3. You could rewrite that as a product as 4 times 3 equals 12, right? Quotient times divisor equals your dividend. Yes? Yeah, I'll give one to you in just a second. Does that make sense? So some different questions might be asked of you. It's not just going to be this, but also rewrite this as a product or write the um, solution and so forth. OK? But that's just a review to give you guys practice. Um, now, long division.